Well, this sucks. Um, I'm in Bangkok, but I'm not here to do some sightseeing or to collaborate with a cool YouTuber like uh, Global Travel Mates. Um, I'm not sleeping at Poom Airport, because unfortunately this is D-Day for me. <laughs> and this is the day that um, my visa's run out. Cannot renew, cannot get a new one, and have to leave the country. As things stand, I actually genuinely don't know when I'm going to be back. Um, I'll explain more in the video, but I just wanted to say in the intro that if this is the first time you've come across this channel, firstly, please subscribe. So as things stand, we've got 1,900 subscribers. That's 95% of my end goal, because 2K is as high as I've ever dared to dream. The next sort of land, landmark after that will be 5K, 10K. I'm not expecting to get there, but it would be great to get the last 100 before December the 8th when the channel is two years old. So if you've not subscribed yet, please, please do consider doing that for me. Press like, give me a comment, and go and watch some of the 100 and so videos that I put up before this. Someone's foot there. If you've got a foot fetish, get stuck into that. My goals don't involve more subscribers, but they do involve trying to get more views. I would like if every chat, every video I put up got to a thousand views, all of them. And I was on a roll for a while, but none of my last three have made a thousand at the minute. So um, pull your finger out and press the button for me. Secondly, this isn't the sort of thing I normally do. Normally I go somewhere cool, show you somewhere nice, and I'm just like on the side. Occasionally I do interviews, and the odd time I will tell a story, but most of my stories about myself are like five, six, seven years old. I already know they're interesting or funny or how they play out. This is, I think, the first time I've ever done like a real time kind of this is what's happening in my life right now kind of video. So if you haven't seen it before, don't judge me too much on this sort of self-indulgent first look um, and check out some of the other stuff. And if you have been with me for a while, maybe this will be of interest to you because unfortunately I'm getting the boot. I have to leave and here's why. All right, before we go any further, I wanna give a quick shout out because I've had three different people give donations on buymeacoffee.com since I put up the last video. Um, Kev Harris and Thomas from Aberdeen. Thank you so much to both of you. Um, I haven't spent the money yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. I'll be in the next video probably. I have a Mark H back again. As you can see, this one's interested. That's because your donation came with instructions to buy the dog a bone. Well, there's four pork legs in there. Because you bought three coffees, I had enough to buy her a month's worth of her nighttime treat and about 10 days worth of chicken as well. So these are all from you, Mark H. Thanks so much, mate. Cheers for supporting the channel, thank you. Good girl. COVID ended here on the 1st of October, like it kind of officially ended. I think, I think I'm right in saying you don't need to do any tests. I don't think you need to be vaccinated. I think you can literally, anyone can come in now under any circumstances. There's no wearing a mask in public. Although most big businesses, the staff are still, if you go into a macro or a Tesco or a 7-Eleven or something, the staff are still wearing masks in them. But apart from that, it's, it's done and dusted. It's over and done with. From the 1st of October, it's been impossible to get the visa that I've been here on. Uh, I've been getting a COVID, COVID visa extension every 60 days. I only came on a 60 day visa, so I've done well to get 23 months out of it. So I've got six days left in Thailand today. Um, lots and lots of things to still sort out. Lots of it you can't do until the last minute. And then a few other things haven't worked out. Got a little bit of an issue with the dog. It should be all right. So last night I went online, booked my flights. The flights just from, from Samui to Bangkok were the same, more or less, as the flights to the country I'm going to. Which they'd sort that out. It's definitely stopping a lot of tourists coming here as well, because the flights to come to, to Samui are three or four times more expensive than to fly anywhere else into this country. Um, and they really need to sort that out. Um, it's because Bangkok Airways own, own, own the rights to the, to the airports and no other airlines can fly in there. 
so they've just jacked up the price. My circumstances have changed a bit, as I said in a previous video. Um, where to begin with that? Um, So, <coughs> when I was younger, uh, I didn't realise it until I was about 30, but I had, I had depression, I guess pretty much from like the age of 17 to 30 and um, and then it went away and, and, and came back went away and come back anyway since January 2017 basically haven't had it at all like at all and then for no reason in October 2021 well I mean maybe there were reasons but it came out of the blue to me I felt it coming back and then um, it got a bit worse. I went to the Huahin for Christmas, came back just in time for Christmas and um, felt a bit better for a while. But January, February, March, it was getting worse and worse, to be honest. And so I went away and I spent about three weeks in Huahin and three weeks in Phuket and came back actually in a much better frame of mind. And uh, touch wood, there is a little bit of wood here. Touch wood, um, it's not going to come back. So I've been feeling quite good. But anyway, in in when I did come back in May from Phuket, myself and Anne decided that we would probably be better off just as mates. So that was the first big change in my life. Um, and we still are getting on great. By the way, we see each other all the time. We actually went out for dinner last night. So while I was feeling a bit down in the dumps, I made a decision that it was maybe time to leave Thailand. And um, when you're not feeling good in these moments, you, you, you start thinking what it could be, what could be the reason. One of the problems for me can be having too much time on my hands. If I've got nothing to do, I start thinking too much about trivial issues and I end up dragging myself down. The busier I am, the less time I've got to annoy myself with these stupid thoughts and um, it's, it's all the better so I decided that that was that was the plan I've been idle for too long I've been here since November 2020 not starting a business not had a job not good for you so while I wasn't feeling the best January February March sort of time I decided that I would move back to Europe in September late September and then um, specifically to London because my best mate lives there I've got a place to stay and uh, I was just going to drop into a few agencies with a CV and just see what came up I'm, I've been spending more than I've got coming in which is never a good way to be and um, getting poorer every week is not good for the old brain all my adult life I haven't had to do interviews my last job interview was I was probably about Genuinely, I was probably about 21, 22. And my last interview for anything was when I was trying to get on a master's when I was about 25 uh, to get on the master's in UCD. And it was only 28 places. And obviously a lot more people than that wanted to get on the course. So I had to go for an interview and I got on. Um, but other than that, all my jobs have sort of been word of mouth. And for whatever reason, since I've come to Thailand, I guess, I mean, look, it is hard to employ a Farang here and it's expensive. So I've never been offered a job in Thailand. So as I say, around May, started to feel a lot better. And the enthusiasm I had, because I was quite enthusiastic about it, I was putting a positive spin. I was looking forward to being closer to my family, closer to some older friends, living with my mate again, who I'd lived with a lot during my twenties and that. And then um, we still talk pretty much every day. So even though we're on the other side of the world from each other, we know exactly what's going on in each other's lives and stuff. 
So um, it wouldn't have been strange at all. In fact, it would have been a lot of fun. More and more people were saying this to me and they were saying it's a bad time to come back and obviously the weather and blah, blah. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I don't, maybe I don't want to do it. Maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I want to stay here. And so without wanting to leave, I was leaning back on, do I need to start a small business now? Once bitten, twice shy, or fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Well, this would have been the third time. You, you need to have a really good idea, and I've got a couple of okay ideas, but I'm not sure. But then they were still better than going home. But anyway, I don't want to leave. You know, this is where I want to be. So it was a big problem, something to think about. But as long as I could milk the COVID visa, I was sort of happy to just take my time deciding, you know? So late September came, I hadn't left. Early October, and suddenly, like I say, I realized that the old gravy train had run dry. That COVID visa was no more. So during the time that I was thinking about starting a business and I was sort of wasting time, procrastinating, I um, got a message one day from my mum and it was a screenshot of a job and I know the people that own this company and know the people that run the company and I was actually a little bit surprised they'd not been in touch to see if I was interested so I reached out to them it was in the evening and they got back to me straight away and said um, they tried to contact me one month earlier and when they'd not heard back from me they thought I wasn't interested so I told them I was interested and the following day we had a, like a meeting, sort of interview type thing. And they said, why don't you do a trial? And I did a quick trial and um, I enjoyed it. And they said I was good. So I was offered the job. And so the big life change number two is that I now have a job. And that job is in Koh Samui. It's almost too good to be true. It's around the corner from my house. Um, good hours, not bad money, uh, comes with a work permit. And so um, it looks like I, I might be here for the foreseeable, which is fantastic. But obviously life is never that simple, is it? And, um, oh, where to begin? What a day I've just had. To work in Thailand as a foreigner, you need a work permit. To get a work permit, you need a non-B visa. To get a non-B visa, you have to leave the country. But there's no point in leaving the country without all the correct paperwork. Your boss has to have said they want to employ you. They have to have told the government in advance. The government has to have sort of accepted it. And then you go to an embassy to get a visa. The paperwork that I need to get the work permit is not going to be here on time. That much is for sure. So I had two options. The first option was to leave the country and risk not getting back in because I'd have to come just on a normal holiday visa to get the papers but I might not get back in because I've just been here for two years leaving for a few days and coming back with no visa I probably won't get in and so I didn't want to do that I guess I had three options second option was to just wait abroad until whenever they get the papers then they DHL them to me which I said would take another week and then I'd apply for the visa which would take about a week to get. I'd be gone for at least a month. It's not possible. I've got a dog. I've got responsibilities here and that. Um, so that option was out. So the third option was to get the one week emergency visa, which if I was eligible for it. So I went up today to the immigration office here in Samiri and found out that I was eligible for it. So I went down, got my photos taken, told them what I needed photocopying and everything, got back up. Now the immigration office has been closed for four days. That's why I left this to the last minute. The bank holiday on Thursday and Friday last week. So the place was mobbed. I mean, it, it, it was like a bloody festival or something in there. All sorts of people in there, massive queue just to get to the information desk. So I went downstairs, got everything photocopied and my photos taken, told them exactly what pages I needed on my uh, passport. Should have double checked. Went back up, rejoined the queue, got to the front, realised they hadn't done two of the pages I'd asked them to. So by now it was almost their lunchtime, they closed from 12 to 1. So if there's any chance you could please just give me the ticket, I'll go and get the two pieces of paper. No. So I had to go back down again. They closed at 12 for an hour. Went back up, 
had to rejoin the queue again, which like I say, the place is mobbed. So I had to rejoin the queue again and I'm looking, it's 11.58, 11.59. Oh, come on, come on. I get to the front, she's going through my papers. I'm like, it's all there, it's all there. She reaches round, boop, presses the button, ticket comes out. It was 16 seconds after 12 o'clock. Ticket says 12 o'clock and 16 seconds. I was 16 seconds too late. She writes 1 p.m. on the ticket. I'm like, no. Went and sat down and they called my number, but when I went up, they said, oh, you've got the ticket too late. 16 seconds too late, mate. Uh, go away outside, please. So that was it, outside for an hour. So I had to go and stand outside for an hour. I actually went and got breakfast, it's quite nice. About 1.15 when I finally got called up. Anyway, look, I got the one week extension. 1,900 baht. So that was good news. Came home, had to change my flights. Called up Expedia. I was expecting to be on the phone for a couple of minutes. 103 minutes and 20 seconds. 103 minutes and 20 seconds. Nope. I was cracking up. I mean, I was very, very close to going completely mental. For the first hour, we were all right. And then about an hour in, I said, mate, I, I think I'm about to throw my phone at the wall. I haven't clipped that on, have I? I thought, uh, I said to him, mate, what is happening? How is this taking an hour? He said, um, yeah, normally it only takes. Sorry, this is probably making quite a lot of noise. Uh, he said, yeah, this normally only takes. He said to me, yeah, this normally only takes about three or four minutes. I said, you're telling me? Please. And then about the hour and 10 minute mark, he started getting a bit, listen, sir, I've stuck with you. I've not hung up on you. He was trying to tell me they didn't take MasterCard or Visa. And I'm like, mate, it's the two biggest companies in the world. Of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. Like what else could you take? Um, look, one hour, 43 minutes and 20 seconds it took. But finally, 1,700 baht, I changed my flights. And so I'm going exactly one week later on the exact same flight, one week later. And so I guess I've now got, what, eight days instead of one. So I'll check back in with you in a week's time because you've seen the build up now. So it's D-Day, we're just back from our last walk. As you can see she's out of breath. There is water there though. Um, Picked up a sandwich, got a coconut. Um, it's about half 11 in the morning. And the next thing to do is drive to the other side of the island and get a COVID test. So that's the first little clue for you in regards to where I'm going. You need to have a COVID test to go there. I'm gonna eat now. Right, so everything I did on the last day before my visa ran out last time, was for absolutely nothing because paperwork still hasn't come and this time I cannot get another extension that's out the window now so I have to leave the country and so my two options now are to either go and just stay gone which I've already said I, I don't want to do so I'm going to have to try and get back into the country in about a week's time um, and I have no idea how that's going to go and um, they've given me some paperwork to say that they've offered me a job and when I come back we're going to be starting the paperwork but here's the thing because I'm going to have a new stamp in my passport we've had to cancel the old one and I have to start all over again so it's not like I could even come back and the papers are going to be waiting for me because I'm leaving the country and coming back it's literally a brand new process, so I'm gonna have to wait another month now. Wait. So, it'll be another month now before I'm even able to start work, really. It'll probably be Christmas before I start work, which is a shame. Hey, when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. I've got so many things to do that I could have done with this time that I'm now just going to have to stay here and wait. It's about 30 minutes away from my house. It's about to five anyway. 
I was already shot for time. I deliberately timed this so that I'd have time to do stuff afterwards. Bang Rack Mini Mart over there. Did a video on that recently. It's up there if you want to watch it. A little bit of free advertising for them there. And um, as far as the dog's concerned, obviously she can't come with me, can she? I'm only going for a week, fingers crossed. So um, I'm just going to leave her on the street and hopefully she'll be all right. A couple of people might feed her while I'm gone. Hopefully she doesn't get in too many fights. It'd be grand. Um, you know, Anne, Anne's obviously going to take care of her for me and my mum is due back in Samiri as well. So between the two of them, to be honest, they love her more than they love me. So um, the dog will be fine. Don't worry about that. Thomas from Aberdeen, this was you. Thank you. Who did this? Who did that? Mm. So, as I record this now, I genuinely do not know if and when I'll be back in the country. If all goes well, I will be back in Thailand in eight, nine days. But there's absolutely no guarantee of that right now. So fingers crossed, keep your fingers crossed for me. Either way, where I'm going, I've got quite a few videos lined up, I think. And so um, there should be some good footage for you guys coming up. Something new. Done over 100 videos in Thailand. Maybe it's time to do something a little bit different. Um, Keep your fingers crossed for me and hopefully by the time all the videos that I'm doing in this other country are finished, I'll already be back in Thailand with the visa process well and truly underway. Until next time, goodbye.